Hello. Hello, you gorgeous thing. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for doing this. I'm so appreciative. This is, we're doing um, a big Detroit special, and we couldn't do a Detroit special without you having taken part in the Detroit special, seeing as you're the biggest <laughs> thing to come out of Detroit in the recent years. How are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm good. I'm good. I just kind of got up, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. You have a late night in the studio or what? Yeah. You're always in the studio. You're always in the studio. You're just relentless. First of all, congratulations on Kamikaze, which I really love. For me, it's just the grittiest thing you've done for a while. And I just, you know, being a big fan of your gritty stuff, I, uh, I am very happy. And obviously, the proof of the pudding is that it's doing so bloody well. Well, uh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Th thanks. I, I appreciate that. Uh, and especially, you know, coming from you. And I've known you now since did the Grammys together. And I remember coming down to the Valley in L.A. to rehearse with you. Obviously, we did stand together. And when I saw you rehearsing, I got chills up my spine. I hadn't seen anybody do that kind of thing to me since I saw Mick Jagger in the early days. Wow. And not only are you a great studio artist, but you also go out and one of the few rap hip-hop people that go out and actually do shows you were the first person really to go out there and really conquer the big big arenas big stadiums so you were you've been doing it since 1999 now how does that feel um i mean i'm i'm certainly listen i'm i'm blessed you know mm. i think that we both are in the sense of being able to have longevity you know yeah like the, it it only comes with hard work you know and and hard work and passion too yeah if you lose your passion you're dead you know right and, and you did the yeah. you did the trump video which was amazing for the bet black entertainment television award video when revival was coming out and it was so yeah. powerful and uh you're one of the few people to actually get up and say something and i really admire you for doing that oh thank, thank you yeah, yeah i i uh that was one of those things i just felt like it was pretty, it was pretty on the spur of the moment. I know I spoke to you about it because we call each other from time to time and we have a good old chat. But I know it was kind of on the spur of the moment and you did the video on the spur of the moment and it was sometimes those things work out the best. Can you tell me a little about it? Well, yeah, the, the, the original plan was that I was supposed to go to the actual BET awards. Right. And perform it there, like live, right? So, that was the original plan, so I had wrote a different kind of thing for that. Right. And it kind of got switched at the last minute because the question was brought up about, I guess it's pre, you know, the BET Awards are pre-taped. Right. I don't know if they're pre-taped every time, but, but this particular time they were pre-taped. And <clears throat> they were worried about people in the audience with their cell phones and then Whatever right. I say gets okay. out there in the wrong context or just right. pieces of it, you know. So it kind of got switched the last minute for, for them to come to Detroit. So I had to switch some things around. And you ended up in a car park and, uh, in a great video. So it all worked out. Yeah, we were, we were actually, we were, imi we were, uh, I don't want to say imitating. Uh, we were basically a homage to, um, Public Enemies cover of, you're gonna get yours, which yeah. is like a 12 inch right. single um, back in the day. But um, yeah, that was kind of what we were trying to play off of was that. Yeah. Well, it really worked and it's brilliant. Uh, the new album is doing so well. You're still as feisty as you ever were, um, <laughs> which I love. I do like a little bit of feistiness. Um, and <laughs> I'm very happy that you said you're not gonna use the word faggot anymore because I think it, it you don't need to, you're bigger than that and i'm glad you said that and cleared that up and it's great kudos to you for that well done and you know you you've had your little moments towards machine gun kelly and you put out the dish track kill shot which i love by the way and that's doing great as well so you couldn't really be having a bigger moment than you are now and that all comes after the relatively disappointing reaction to revival and right which you must have been really pissed off about right it just, it was one of those things that, you know, stepping away from it now, I, I, I think I realized like revival might, you know, with Kamikaze, I, I, I tend to a lot of times what I usually try to do on albums is 
And I think that what people probably have gotten accustomed to is me taking some risks. Right. And I think that Revival was probably just too tame of an album or too, you know, um, I guess, tame. Yeah. So you you went in the studio and did another album straight away, and it really worked. And that's great. You have great knowledge of uh, of where you stand in the world. And uh, sometimes a non-success can spur you to do bigger things, and I found that as well. So well done to you. Oh, thank you. And uh, listen... Thank you for doing this. I know how busy you are and how you're all over the place, but you're also all over the studio all the time. It's great for you to talk to us, and especially as we're doing the Detroit thing. It's you and Aretha that we're fe um, we're featuring from Detroit, and uh, I love you. I hope I see you, and I hope I see you soon. Congratulations on everything, and uh, love you so much, and speak to you soon. Bye. All right, Elton, love you too, man. Take care. Bye. Good luck with everything right now. Thanks. Thank you so much. and everything, man. Thanks. Okay. Bye.